guys, this is Aya Buzz. And today I'm reading Ricky Ricardo's Mighty Robot vs. the Stupid Sink Box from Saturn. Story by Deep Bookie, art by Dan Santat. And this is book number six. I already have the book. And now let's get started. Today we're reading five chapters. Now let's read these five chapters. Chapter one, Ricky and his robot. One fine day, Ricky Ricardo and his mighty robot were playing cops and robbers in their yard. Ricky liked to play the robber because he was good at hiding. Ricky, Ricky's mighty robot liked playing the cop because he was good at finding things. Hey, no fair, Ricky left. You're not allowed to use x-ray vision. So Ricky's mother came outside. Come along, boys. She said, we are going to your cousin Lucy's house for lunch. Aw, man, said Ricky. So, do we have to go? Yes, said Ricky's mother. It will be fun. But Uncle Freddy always shakes my hand too hard, said Ricky. And my Auntie Ethel always kisses me too much. And Cousin Lucy always wants to play princess. Well, we are going anyway, said Ricky's mother. So please try to have some fun. We'll go, Ricky sighed. But we won't have any fun. Chapter 2. Uncle Freddy and Auntie Ethel. Soon Ricky and his parents arrived at Cousin Lucy's house. Hello, Ricky, my boy," said Uncle Freddy. He gr he grabbed Ricky's hand and shook it hard. "Ow!" said Ricky. "Come on, now," said Uncle Freddy. "Nobody likes a wimpy handshake." Auntie Ethel reached down and kissed kissed Ricky all over his face. I mean, face. Yuck! said Ricky. Now, now, said Auntie Ethel. Everybody loves kisses. Ricky's mighty robot wanted to stay. Hello, to Say hello, to. He reached down and shook Uncle Freddy's hand. Owza, yowza, shouted Uncle Freddy. Nobody likes a wimpy handshake, Ricky giggled. Then, then Ricky's, then Ricky's robot gave Auntie Ethel a big slobbery kiss. What's the matter? Ricky left. I thought you loved kisses. Ricky and his mighty robot flew into the backyard. There was Lucy having a tea party with her pets. Well, cried Ricky, look how big your Jurassic jackrabbits got. They like to eat, said Lucy. So I named them Fudgy, Cupcake, and Waffles. Ricky rolled his eyes. Let's play princess, Lucy said. No way, said Ricky. Oh, come on, Lucy begged. I'll be the beautiful princess and you can be the ugly prince. Fudgy cupcake and waffles will be our royal ponies. And your robot can be the big brave knight. What part of no way don't you understand? Asked Ricky. Now, boys, said Ricky's father, I want you to play nice with Lucy. Rats, said Ricky. This is turning out to be very bad, a very bad day. But... What Ricky didn't know was, was that things were about to get much, much worse. Chapter 3. Surgeon Stinkbuck. More than 800 million miles away, there was a polluted planet called Saturn, which was overrun with stupid, smelly stinkbugs. Everywhere you looked, trash filled the streets, garbage gunged, up the rivers 
and the factories puffed out so much pollution it formed a tox a toxic ring of smoke around the whole planet but but all but of all the stupid smelly creatures on Saturn there was no one stupider or smellier than evil surgeon Stinkbuck. He was the ruler of Saturn and he was the worst little bug of all. Every day when Surgeon Stinkbuck was done eating, he threw his dirty dishes out the window. Every night when he was through watching his favorite shows, he tossed his TV out the window. And every morning when he was finished sleeping, he well, well, you, you got, you get the idea. Usually, such a thing like love this smelly toxin. But today, as he stole through pollution park when he got fed up, this place is a dump. So I want to find a new planet that I can junk up. So Sergeant Stigbug gathered his stinky subjects, climbed aboard his giant spaceship, and headed for Earth. Chapter 4 The Princess of Earth As the giant spaceship approached Earth, Sergeant Stigbug spoke, spoke to his armies. Listen up, you stickers, said the evil sergeant. First, we must find the king of Earth and kidnap him. Then we'll... Then we will take over the planet. The stupid stink bugs surge through their supersonic, like supersonic spy scope. But they could not find a king. They looked all over us, but they couldn't f even find a queen. The look said one of the stupid stink bugs. Finally. I think I see a princess. The supersonic spy scope zoom in Lucy, who was standing on the picnic table giving others orders. You guys have to protect me, Lucy said, so the bad guys won't steal all my precious rubies. Aha, <laughs> cried Sergeant Stigbuck. I'll kidnap that princess and steal all those rubies she was talking about. Then we'll take over the planet. So, so Sergeant Stigbuck got into his attack pod and headed to Lucy's house. Chapter 5. The Picnic. Soon it was time for lunch. Ricky's aunt and uncle brought food out to everybody. They then went back inside to eat Ricky's with eat with Ricky's parents. Fudgy cupcake waffled Ricky and his mighty robots all dove into the grilled cheese sandwiches. Come on, you guys, Lucy whined. Let's play before we eat. Suddenly, the sur surgeon Stinkbug showed up. He lowered the electric snatcher arm on his attack pod and grabbed Lucy. Hey, look everybody, cried Lucy. A bad guy is trying to steal my rubies. Yeah, right, said Ricky, who didn't even bother to turn around. Come on, you guys, cried Lucy. Stop eating and save me from this evil space bug. Boy, said Ricky. Bad kids sure have a vivid imagination. So... Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and I'm going to read a few more chapters tomorrow.